Hey everyone, it's Jared here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to build a drumming practice routine. Now, a while ago, I asked on my Facebook page, what types of lessons would you like? And this was one of the most liked suggestions. And so lots of you are having trouble just building a practice routine and feeling like you're getting lots done when you sit down to practice at your drum set. So what I did is I pulled out a complete section out of my successful drumming course. This section is called The Habitual Drummer and it talks about how to structure your practice time and how to actually achieve results every time you sit down at the drum set. That's what's so important. You do not want to waste time where you're just kind of like playing random stuff and you, you never feel like you're getting any better. And so The Habitual Drummer is great for that. Now, I basically have written out a five-step system, so it's very important that you download this. The link is right below the video. You can download and print it out because there will be some writing required of you. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is writing down your goals. Now, if you want to achieve something on the drums, whether that be small or big, I would really suggest you write down your goals. I wouldn't write down a goal like become a rock star or um, play it to a stadium of 10,000 people. That can kind of be for your long-term goals and you can write that down and put it somewhere else. But what we're going to do here is more for your short-term goals. So what do, I, what do you want to accomplish this week, this month, or within the next three months, right? So think some, something within like a three-month timeline. So take a moment to write five different goals down. So just go ahead and pause the video, click the, the pause button, and write down five goals. Now that you've written down your five goals, I want you to do something else very important, and that is commit to your goals socially. I realized how powerful this was when I did it myself. I actually said, I'm going to learn a lick. It was a Virgil Donati parody lick. It was excruciatingly hard, very, very difficult. And I told everyone I was going to do it, you know, 50 plus thousand people. So I had to do it. All these people counting on me to do it, and I said I was going to do it, and I'm not someone who likes to lie or do anything like that. And so I find when you commit to your goals socially, it really gives you the extra boost you need to sit down and practice. So you, now you can go ahead and pause this video and maybe choose one of those goals and just go post it on your Facebook or go post it to a drum community that you're a part of, whether that be on Drumio or anywhere else on the internet, and just tell people what you're going to accomplish. So go ahead and pause this video and do that now. So now that you've gotten your goals, you've committed to them socially, I want you to rank them from hardest to easiest. Okay, so the easiest goal would be number five, the hardest goal would be number one. And just write down the rankings in order. Next, we need to figure out how much time you have. So be honest with yourself. How much are you going to commit to drumming every day or every week? I really think it's better to commit uh, a smaller amount of time every day rather than a large amount of time once because you never know how you're going to be feeling that Saturday afternoon between 2 and 4, right? Whereas you can get some solid, solid practice time in if you just do half an hour a day, or 45 minutes a day, or an hour a day. I really think half an hour to an hour should be something that you should try and budget and make it a priority. Okay, so you've got your goals listed um, hardest to easiest. Then you decide how much time you have. So let's say you have an hour. Maybe the first goal would be you're going to dedicate 20 minutes to that goal. Number two would be 15 minutes. Number three would be 10 minutes. Number four would be 10 minutes. And number five would be five minutes. Now you've filled up one hour of time and it's all stuff that's in line with your goals. Okay? So the next thing you do after you've done that, you've written your five goals down, you've ranked them hardest to easiest, you've set amount of time that you have, you know, you've budgeted realistically the amount of time you have. Now what you want to do is you want to get this sheet out so you can track your progress. Okay, now this is why it's important to get this. Um, basically what this does, you write down the goal, so it could be goal number one. For me it was learn to play the Virgil Zanatti paradiddle lick. And then say how much time you have, so in this case it was 20 minutes a day, and the, the date that you started. Okay, then right beside that you list the date that you started and any sort of achievement that you have that day. So for me, it was a matter of being able to get through it at 20 beats per minute. Okay? It was very, very slow. Then the next day I write September 27th, this is just an example, and the achievement that I had that day, and so on and so forth. Once you've completed the goal, you check it off and you file it. 
Then you can go back and you can look at all the cool stuff that you've accomplished. Now one thing you'll see here is there's achievement. Every single time you sit down, I want you to try and achieve something. I want you to try to try and end positively with your practice routine. That's very, very important. But setting up a practice routine is as simple as really being um, intentional about knowing what you want to learn and knowing how much time you have to practice. Once you do that, it's relatively easy to track your progress and it's really easy to get better at drums. You have so much information available, available for you, it's just absolutely incredible. Okay? And so I really hope this helped you kind of figure out how to structure your time and how to build a drumming practice routine. If there's any questions related to this video, maybe about you know, what goal is more important or what goal is technically more difficult or if your goal is a good goal or something you should maybe try and be more specific about, you can just go ahead and post that in the comments right below this video. I always check the comments and I'd love to chat with you about what you're practicing and what you're doing to get better at the drums. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and download this PDF and start writing down your goals, tracking your progress and becoming the drummer that you want to be. Thank you and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.